Good afternoon all, hope everybody's well. Housekeeping, I'm smoking my uh, Nirup Bulldog and in it I'm smoking some of my London Fog, which is an amalgamation of Orlick Golden Sliced and McClelland Virginia Wood. A very nice little mix-up. Um, <clears throat> so today I'm doing a VR for Dead Sexy Piper. Um, I haven't actually seen his channel up to now, your channel I should say, sorry. Um, but um, I'm certainly subscribed to it now. Um, I came across it through seeing the VR from Pipes and Kayaks. Um, so I shall look forward to going through your channel and seeing some of your content. Um, but I thought it was an in interesting question that you asked in terms of showing tampers, because it's true. We uh, use a tamper every single time we um, light a, a pipe. Unless you're an old timer and you use your uh, thumb. Um, but otherwise, we use a tamper. So it'd be good to see a range of people's, people's uh, uh, tampers. I was about to say pampers. <laughs> anyway. So I'll show you a few of mine. Um, uh, quite a few from uh, Rick Ruff, Ruff Works. I'll put a, um, his details down below because he's certainly, if you want a, a nice creative looking tamper, he's one of the best tamper carvers that I've uh, been in touch with. Um, there's loads of people out there doing it, but in terms of um, somebody that I've uh, had a few different tampers from, I would certainly recommend him very highly. Um, so I'll start off with the, a couple of his. So this one is a uh, uh, one of his. It's a cigar tamper. Um, he's probably got one of the most realistic ash um, interpretations uh, on a tamper um, out of the people that are out there. And this one he's personalised, Bosco, and it has a pick. Now he originally, um, I originally ordered um, a couple from him a, a long time ago. And my favourite one, which he had done for me, also a similar one to this, um, I managed to lose. And uh, he saw that on one of my posts on IG, and he, sometime later, he, he recarved it and, and sent it to me free, which was absolutely awesome. So this is kind of a shout out to Rick Ruff as well, um, who's an absolutely awesome guy and a fantastic, creative, talented um, woodcarver. So that's one of the uh, timbers that I use quite regularly. Um, this one is a, a tamper which I got together with a pipe, with a BJV pipe from Chris. Um, he's an English carver and um, uh, this came with, I'm trying to remember um, which one this was with. I think it was a Dublin which he had made. It was a part smooth, part rusticated Dublin um, and this was the material, the acrylic he used for the bit, um, for the stem. Um, but um, a nice uh, tamper there. Um, next up we have one of uh, another one of Rick Ruff's tampers. This one wasn't ordered, it was just ordered off his Etsy page. Just thought it was a nice little skittle, you know, some really nice uh, skills mixing up different woods there. So that was another one. This one is a, one of my favourite tampers. This is a, a tamper made by Paul Turnock. Paul Turnock, um, he, he salvages and repurposes wood. Um, I think this is spalted wood. Um, and with a brass, um, that's probably just a bit of brass from uh, a stop end for a pipe, for a 15 mil pipe, looks like to me. Um, but um, if you um, follow Paul Turnock on IG, which is where most of his posts are, um, you can, you'll just see a, a creative soul. Um, and um, he just uses uses his time, I think he's retired, He's uh, he has an allotment, um, but he, he just, you know, turns something creative and entertaining out of nothing and um, he does some little statues and things like that and he did a lot he does a lot of knife um, he, he carves knives out of old files and um, stuff like that and in fact I've got one here somewhere if I can put my hand to it quickly here we go this is um, a knife he made me a long time ago and um, this stuff I know we're going off on a tangent but you know um, this is um, this knife holster sheath if you like is made out of repurposed guttering um, which has been just uh, dumped or whatever and he just brass uh, tacks and he shapes it and I suppose it's heat, heat uh, done um, he shapes it to that particular knife so this one is quite a hefty looking knife I can't say that I've ever used it 
beautiful handle I just love the look of it um, and that you can see the original file edges there but that's a serious piece of kit it stays in my drawer I don't think I'd even want my kids to see it um, but it's a beautiful piece of work so that's um, Paul Turnock uh, tamper that one there um, next up we have a shell casing and this one I didn't realize till later on but actually there's a little spade there for clearing out your bowl and this I picked up at um, the Israti sale I don't think I even paid for that I think she gave it to me Karen um, this one is a is an antler um, which was made by Steve and Leanne um, a while back um, I think uh, when Steve first came on IG possibly I'm not sure but anyway um, I sent him some some stuff and he very kindly sent me this back um, it's personalized he's carved out Bosco Piper UK um, so that is a very very good tamper because of the sharp edges you've got a, I suppose that what is that a nickel or something like that um, and because it's got a really flat and sharp defined edges it's really good for a for a if you want to just do a, comp a tamp complete tamp it just fits into many many bowls the diameter is really really good uh, next up we have a um, this is from uh, Wes um, this is uh, also I think um, pipes and kayaks has one of these as well these are made from salvaged uh, from a, a sunken boat or a yacht or something like that where he's literally taken brass and timber from the boat and fashioned these um, I'll put a link down to his channel there as well that's from Wes um, and this one this is uh, the last one for now and um, this one I got with um, from sea pipes I've had a few pipes off him and this came with one of them and it's probably my favorite tamper to use simply because it's uh, these are the best the 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 nail tampers are the best but this particular one because it's got a little bit of a briar handle it's just really good to use and I probably use this the most more than anything else so that's my tampers so Dead Sexy Piper congratulations on all your subs I'm sure you'll get more and I look forward to enjoying your channel and good luck to everybody in the draw catch you on the next one hi again um, I haven't hooked up the mic or anything I just forgotten to show you a very special tamper um, so I just thought I'd hook this on to the end of the video um, one of my first pipes in fact uh, the second pipe I ever bought uh, was this um, Savinelli 606 um, and um, I was really very very attached to this pipe and um, I smoked cherry blends in it at the time as many do when they first start off go for an aromatic um, and it was pretty much dedicated to cult blood red moon Anyway, I was so attached to it, I decided to order a uh, custom-made tamper. So I ordered one from Rick Ruff, and um, I asked him to try and capture the, the elements of this pipe um, into into a tamper. And he did an amazing job, and this is what he did. This is the uh, tamper he made, and on the top he carved out BP UK. At the time, I hadn't. I was called Bos Bosco Pipe UK. I didn't have the R in there as BPR UK. Uh, he just did this as Bosco Piper UK um, and just look at that, isn't that amazing? so I was talking to you before about uh, Rick's uh, creativity and just look at that and that is just a perfect example of, of his work so well weighted as well and you've got a little bit of a pointy end there to, to act as a pick I've never actually used this because it's so pretty um, I've never actually used it, it stays in this bag and it's in my drawer I kind of treasure it Anyway, I just thought I sh uh, a VR around tampers would be incomplete for me if it didn't have this tamper in there. Cheers, catch you on the next one.